Okay, so the next portion of my demo, I'll be going through the customer portal. So Acumatica um, doesn't charge on a per user basis. And the good thing about that is then you're able to provide your key customers with access to the portal as well. But of course, um, it will be on the CRM portal. So they will not have access to your um, private business information. But what it does is it actually gives a very good 24 by seven platform for your key customers to actually um, access the data and the documents that they require. And um, I'll go straight in and show you what it does. So for example, now I've logged into Sam Malone's account, which is a customer account. Um, and so Mr. Sam says, okay, can you send me an invoice? So instead of actually calling in to have the invoice sent to him, all he has to do is just sign into the account and he can go under profile and he can actually access all the documents that are linked to his account right here. So he'll have access to the invoices, the payments, um, the sales orders that he has placed um, with your company. And all these blue fields are actually drillable. So all he has to do is just to open the documents and then go and print it out. Another key function of the CRM portal is the support function. So um, it, it really gives a very quick and user-friendly interface to your support team. So for example, Sam has a problem um, and he wants to log in a new case. So come into the support um, new case form and I'll do one sample here. Help my laptop is broken. I shouldn't be sounding so optimistic. <laughs> okay. And um, is there any replacement you can provide? And then what I want to do as a customer is I want to actually upload a picture of my broken laptop, right? So all I have to do is go to files and I'm just going to drag and drop my broken laptop picture over here. So you can see it's just that quick, you know, all I did was just basically drag it from my desktop into the system and it goes right in. And now you'll notice that it shows up under the files. And from here, I'm going to submit the case. So taking note of the case ID here, it's 135. I'm going to go back to my production instance and I'm going to look at, let's do a side-by-side -side view. So I'm going to look at support. So as a support staff, I'll be able to see immediately that 135 has been locked. And the customer has attached a file, right? There's a picture of a broken laptop here. And let's see what he has said. So he said that his laptop is broken and is there any replacement that I can give him? So as a support staff now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an activity and I will add, let's say I'll add a task. Dear Sam, I'm so sorry this happened. A new laptop is on the way to you. And so if I wanted to do an internal note, I can just put it in here. It will not get sent out to the customer. But in this instance, because I'm going to send it right back to him, then I will not do that. And 
from here, once I've done with this, I'll save and close. Sending a replacement. So as you can see, the system um, is very good at reminding forgetful people like me. <laughs> so, all right. And um, my activity has been sent. Now that has been sent back to the customer. And right here, if I were to look for the case now, I'll be able to look at there sending a replacement so the support um has already gotten back to me about my replacement laptop okay so um another feature of the customer portal also is the orders um the ability to actually set up a sales order directly from the customer portal so I'll go into the catalog and show you how it works. So in the catalog, um, you will have the items listed um, from your production instance on your back end. Um, and your customer will be able to see what items you have available and also to look into the items. So for example, now I'm Sam and I'm looking at what you have available and I'm doing a little bit of retail therapy and I look into your computer listing right? and I'll be able to see all the information that has been set up on your production instance, the item pictures, um, description, etc. And I will like to order one, so I'll click Add to Cart. Yes. So now it, it immediately tells me that my cut has been updated with one item. And I'm going to go to my cart. And you can see it's there. So I'm going to continue shopping and let's say I want to buy a, a camera for instance. So I'm going to look for, um, let's say a Nikon camera. And I'm going to add this to cart. Add to cart. So immediately the system actually in points out um, a notice. I'm too quick with my fingers. I actually missed it. <laughs> so, so the system actually pointed out um, that, you know, the inventory is not available. And the item is going to take a little longer. Um, and then from here, you know, I'm cool with that. I'll wait for it. No worries. I'll proceed to check out. All right, so now I'm at the checkout page. I am going to <coughs> look at my shipping information. And um, so I can look at my ship via and I can choose which um, um, shipping provider I would like to use. So I'll use FedEx Ground and I will look at So as you can see, my freight price is already um, auto-computed. And from here, I'm going to continue. And then I'll submit my order.
Right, so my sales order has already been auto-generated great. Um, and the shipping information is all already into the system. And well, if I wanted to, I could always go and copy my order. Um, so in order for me to do that, I will go to orders. my orders and this is great if you have customers who are your regulars and they always order the same quantity so all they have to do is actually click um, copy order to cut for example if i were to select um, this particular entry and then i click copy order to cut then i'll have the same order there so it's really good for um, customers to get more or, or for you to have create a culture of more sticky customers um, and then of course you have the for example the discount percentage which I did not show here but you have the ability to actually um, control particular customers um, your discounts so because you have given um, Sam here a, a customer account you can actually set um, for his account that if he orders um, any items from you, he can get a fixed discount. And, and what this function really does is that it really makes it a lot easier for your customers to order. And if it is easy to order, of course, then it'll be easier for them to order more. And it really comes and gives an all-rounded, um, better and more responsive customer experience. Um, and it also automates your sales process because instead of having to have a customer service or a sales staff there to service the account, then basically the customer is just selling on their own.